man, woman, birth, death, infinity. Good afternoon, and welcome to the Your Health Radio and Television Program on the radio at AM 1240 KNRY, Amped Cable Television Channel 24, and on the web at www.ampmedia.org. Join our rotating host and their informative guests live every Monday afternoon at 4 o'clock. The purpose of the Your Health Radio and Television Program is to help get, make, and keep listeners and viewers like you healthy. And now, ladies and gentlemen, on with the program. Hi, I'm your host, Emily Shelto, the Associate Public Information Officer for the Monterey County Health Department. And I'd like to welcome you to Your Health Radio and Television Program. Uh, we're here live on Channel 24 Cable Access, uh, AM radio station, 1240 KNRY, and online ac at Access Monterey Peninsula, uh, www.ampmedia.org. As I said, I'll be your host today, and my guests will be giving you valuable information that will help you improve your health. Remember, we've added a new feature to the program where we will respond to select questions from our audience. Please email us your questions to www.mchd2010 at gmail.com. That's mchd2010 at gmail.com. Next month, in light of Dental Hygiene Month, We'll also be discussing, uh, we'll be discussing dental hygiene and oral health. So please send your questions and tune in. This hour, however, we'll be coming clean with an otherwise germy situation as we discuss hand washing. Yesterday, September 19th, marked the first, the beginning of International Clean Hands Week, a full week dedicated to cleaning hands, preventing illness, and saving lives. Did you know that nearly 22 million schools, school days are lost annually to the common cold alone? Well, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, the washing your hands is one of the easiest and most effective ways you can keep yourself and those around you healthy. Many diseases and conditions such as colds, flus, and many more can be prevented by adequate hand washing. And here joining me today to talk more about that are two nurses. Linda Payne, a public health nurse, excuse me, public health nurse with the Monterey County health, Public Health Bureau, and Faye Stallworth, a registered nurse and supervisor and patient care planner for the, visit, the Central Coast Visiting Nurse Association and Hospice. Ladies, welcome, and thank you so much for joining me today. I'd like to start off by talking a little bit about the Monterey County Health Department VNA Clean Hands Hand Washing Campaign, so let's get right into it. Although I briefly mentioned a few CDC hand washing facts, can you tell us why hand washing is so important? Well, I think it is very important because, you want me to answer this, Linda? Because it does help prevent the spread of infectious diseases. And I think time and time again, data and statistics have shown that by using the most simple yet effective way of preventing disease is really hand washing. So that is why this is a very important uh, component of our health education. I see. So it sounds like the reasons you just mentioned and many others uh, led you to join forces and begin to educate the community. Is that right? Yes. That's correct. So can you tell us when and why the hand washing campaign was started? Let me start by saying that I was a public health nurse. Mm -hmm. And it started in 2009. And a group of nurses uh, in public health uh, talk about how can we improve the spread of infectious diseases in Monterey County. And at that time, there was a pandemic, the flu pandemic. Uh, so we decided, why not have hand washing campaign? And so Linda Payne, a public health nurse, said, yes, let's go ahead and do it. So the first thing we did was strategize as to how we can um, uh, develop or design a program to make sure that uh, it is high visibility and people understand the effectiveness of hand washing campaign. And so we started to develop some simple messages as to how we are going to strategize this. And our target audience was really at first school children because they are the ones that are the carriers of, you know, most of the infectious diseases. So we decided to do that. 
And then the second objective that we have is that after we have made an extensive education in all the children of Monterey County is that we will uh, collaborate or partner with the city of Salinas and other nonprofit organizations so that we can have a hand washing station in every parks and in all food courts of Monterey County. So that was really the long term goal of this hand washing campaign is to make sure that each and every park of Monterey County will have hand washing stations and elevate the consciousness of people to wash their hands. Do you have anything to add Linda? Well we chose um, the to identify children because we all know that kids are in school and they always like to take all these fun things home to their parents and uh, generally parents will um, become educated sometimes by some of the information that their children bring home from schools so that's why we wanted to start there very well so some of the what are some of the strategies I know you talked about the goals and some of the objectives that you had could you maybe talk a little bit more about the strategies that you developed to kind of achieve these goals and help promote your objectives? Well, this is really interesting because um, when Linda and I talk about how we're going to start developing our strategies, we really don't have any funds. We don't have any money to start the hand washing campaign. So one of the uh, supervisors, one of my peers decided, why well, won't I go to one of the local, local hardware and do a bucket and a spigot. And so that's how it all started. We started with just a simple bucket and we put water in it and we started teaching kids and we kicked it off in the wellness day, during the wellness day in September of 2009. And the public health nurses have this, including myself, I was a public health nurse then, decided to uh, spend our own money and we bought soap and we started to give away soap to these kids and we taught them how to do hand washing. I think the beauty about this is that when we started teaching kids, correct me if I'm wrong, is that they go home mm -hmm. and they will tell their mom to wash their hands. And then one day Linda, my, my co-worker, decided to, I don't know, she went shopping I think and said, oh you are the public health nurse that taught me how to wash my hands <laughs> and so it has just it started with that it's, mm -hmm. it started with a one-day event on September 12 of 2009 and we started to teach the kids how to wash their hands and we give out soap every kid that wash their hands effectively will be able to wash uh, will be given a soap a bar of soap and so that's how it all started and Linda, maybe you can go ahead and talk about some of the strategies after we taught these kids how to wash their hands. Well, immediately after that, we decided that we needed to go into doing some um, uh, a study. And we wanted to have some actual uh, evidence-based information to be able to provide, not only for uh, the benefit of, of what we were trying to educate the community for, but you know, it's it's important to have evidence-based information when you're trying to um, provide services. So what we did is we collaborated with the. Uh, Salinas Girls and Boys Club and with Mr. Anthony Tony who is one of the directors there and they were extremely helpful. We um, were able to develop a, a survey that was developed with the collaboration of environmental health okay. and um, we came up with a certain amount of questions and um, we um, we presented the study and we did it through the Girls and Boys Club. I believe it was um, on two different occasions. And then we submitted our information and we were able to actually get clinical data and that could be published uh, someday in the event uh, that we uh, continue with our research. But we were able to establish that. Um, there was a high percentage of young girls who washed their hands more uh, often than little boys. Oh, isn't that And so that was a very interesting um, uh, ca uh, caveat to our uh, pilot project. And um, we just took off from there. We um, took our buckets and then what happened is one day we had an event that we couldn't have the buckets. It was a large event so we needed to uh, have um, a hand washing station. And so we also collaborated with a local plumbing, uh, A&G Plumbing. I want to give them a very a good plug because um, Mr. Young has been very 
uh, helpful. He's been donating his hand washing stations to us uh, at no cost, yeah, and right. it has been very effective. The public really recognizes us, and um, uh, at other events we go to, we have adults that are saying, um, yes, uh, my children brought it home, and uh, we've been washing our hands more, and um, also through our collaboration, we were able to establish a jingle. We also, <laughs> the Monterey County Hand Washing Committee now has an official jingle, uh, Washing Your Hands Saves Lives. Wow, so, what a nice story. Yeah. That is, that is very amazing, taking something, making something from absolutely nothing. Mm -hmm. Starting mm -hmm. off with no money, a couple buckets, <laughs> getting the interests of young folks, exactly. and, and in turn motivating their, their parents or maybe their older siblings, mm -hmm. other family members and friends, and then look at how a uh, local community can come together, make donations, work together, and you've got uh, A&G Plumbing, who we'll mention again, to come and give you a hand washing station. Uh, so the station, can you just describe that briefly? Yes, it's, um, it's a unit that's delivered to wherever our particular events are. Um, it comes pre-filled with water. Okay. It's pre-filled with um, hand soap and um, paper towels. And uh, it has a little pump on the foot and you just kind of pump the foot a little bit and uh, you have a, a steady flow of water. Um, and it, environmentally, the A&G plumbing makes certain that the dirty water is, um, you know, removed in an appropriate, environmentally safe way. That so it's very conscious. Yes. And I hope we have time to demonstrate that so that, you know, it can be seen how effective that is. And I, I think that as we move forward, it is really the goal of the public health nurses, and including myself as a public health nurse, is to ensure that this program continues and that our our first task would be to go to the um, Public Works Commission this month yes. and uh, present to their board for, uh, to develop the hand washing station in, in one of the parks in Salinas. So that's our goal and it has been the goal of mine and of the public health nurses to push forward with this project because I think it's an important, important project that we need to, to implement in Monterey County. Absolutely. It sounds like there's, there's no doubt that, that the public health nurses, especially the two of you and, and other guests that we'll see on the show later, are extremely dedicated to this cause and have made some really, really good progress in this way. Can I just make a plug? Oh, I'd like please to do. Really, I'd like to really <laughs> thank uh, Linda Payne. She's a public health nurse. When, I, when we talk about this project together, she really did take off and say, let's do this. And then I also would like to, to compliment two public health nurses, uh, Linda, uh, Lydia, or uh, Ruiz. Ruiz and Johanna Latham, I'm sorry, Lydia Ruiz and Johanna Latham, they're all public health nurses who have really done tremendous, tremendous help in making sure that this project will not go away, number one, and number two, they're always there in all our activities. So I'd like to just thank the three of these nurses who have done tremendous strides in this program. Very well. Well, it sounds like you're making some progress, and to continue that, you mentioned the Public Works Department, going mm -hmm. before the Public Works to present what maybe perhaps what you've learned through the data, mm -hmm. through the, mm -hmm. the pilot project, and um, kind of discuss some of the things, some of the activities that you've done almost starting about a year ago. Happy mm -hmm. one year anniversary, by the way. <laughs> thank, thank you, yes, thank you. Indeed. Thank you. Um, so do you have a date set for that? Is that? Yes, we, um, we've actually been invited to the commission on October the 18th, which is their next um, meeting. Uh, we've also been uh, in front of the uh, Salinas um, City Council. Okay. And the City Council, um, along with Mayor Donahue, has given uh, their stamp of approval and have um, encouraged us to move forward um, with our goal of having the very first hand washing station established here in our county. Wow, so that would be for public use at, Absolutely. A, yes. at a county park or, or the uh, where. Um, people gather. Uh, it could be in the mall. We haven't actually picked the spot yet, but we're eliminating and, and, and we're going to figure out w where we would like to have that. Uh, but it will be uh, for public access. Excellent. And all this will be done still at no cost or from donations? and we're, we're collaborating with other agencies to see where our funding is going uh, to come from. And we're also looking for um, the funding to be underwritten by a grant. Excellent. 
And uh, for all of you, those out there who feel like donating, well, MT mtyhd.org, the health department's new website that is currently under construction, or you can email us again at mchd2010 uh, to make a pledge or perhaps donate some of your money or time you to There's this support. wonderful hand washing uh, campaign uh, efforts that are happening here in our county. Um, so anything else that you'd like to mention about uh, what does this mean, I think, overall? What do you think overall for the community in terms of, you know, hand washing and, and the type of, the, the level of, of cleanliness or, or how do you measure if, if people in Monterey County are, in, are clean, they have clean hands and, and good health? Is there anything that the pilot project perhaps indicated there? Well, let, let me just put it this way. Number one, we really want to create a level of awareness mm -hmm. that is really important to wash your hands. And, and when you go to football fields or you go to parks and there are no running water, that is really kind of sad for a, for a country like the United States of America. So we want to really raise the level of awareness, number one. Number two, we want to make sure, we want to make sure that as we move forward, that Monterey County being the mecca of the playgrounds of the rich and famous, that there is a reduction in the transmission of, of infectious diseases, that the enteric diseases will go down. And uh, we have data to, we, that we will be able to gather data to say that, to prove that this is really working because the number of uh, enteric investigation, this, this, uh, investigation disease has gone down tremendously. And then the, the complications of uh, infectious diseases will also go down uh, like flu the complications mm -hmm. of flu and, and all the other complications as a result of infectious diseases will go down. So that is really where we are coming from as we move forward. I yes. see. Anything else? I agree. Um, I think that education and awareness um, is the beginning. It's the, it's the uh, foundation for um, healthy communities and healthy societies. And as public health nurses, uh, that's what we have uh, a passion for. We, we love our community and we want to see it healthy. Very well. Thank you two so much for taking time out of your very busy schedules. It sounds like you're very busy uh, to talk with us today. I sure learned a lot. Uh, from, from buckets to, to bridges. <laughs> Absolutely. Going over clean flowing water for folks to wash their hands in. Um, at this time, we're gonna take a short break. Um, I'm today's host, Emily Shelto, and you're tuning in to Your Health radio and television program. Don't touch that dial, we'll be right back with